the usual free kick taker, Tomano Sweatman, it's Plummer. Not a bad delivery towards Matthews, who wins the header. Short, which was just about put up enough by a couple of Scotland players around her, but she is a real handful. Yeah, but if she managed to stay on her feet, then I think she had an opportunity here. She does well, she gets sandwiched a little bit. The ball drops, but the Alexander mopping up. chance here, here's Khadija Shaw, goal for Jamaica, and it's the danger woman that we've all picked out, a wonderful strike from Jamaica's talisman. Just the kind of thing that she does, picks it up here, fakes the shoot with her right, turns inside on her left foot, it's pretty much straight down the middle, but it's got a lot of power in it, and this is what she's got, she's cute. Good feet. With horse delivery. Corsi is up there. Only half cleared. Oh, deflected. And so close to an own goal. Got past one. There is Cuthbert. Couldn't quite work the opening. Weir. That was a wicked shot. Eventually cleared by Jamaica. Well, we know that she can't hit them from any distance. Takes a little deflection, which makes it even more difficult. That's the best bit of play yet. A really nice ball into Jane Ross. From Smith turned round the corner, great run, well timed from Kim Little. Just can't cut it across the goalkeeper enough to find the bottom corner, but certainly our best bit of play. A couple of saves that the Schneider's had to make, Jamaican goalkeeper. That's an eight, decent effort from distance, that's a very good effort! Erin Cuthbert! Goodness me! What a sensational equaliser! Well, if Scotland are looking for inspiration, it generally is one player that gives it, and that's Erin Cuthbert. A fantastic strike. Even to have a go at this, she's gone deep in the pocket, takes two touches, another one, then thinks, oh, why not? Cuthbert. Free kick right on the edge of the penalty area. Yeah, again, more like it. Better type of ball for Scotland. It's a, it plays more into the way that, that their style is and the players that they have. And getting Erin on the ball just outside the box. Take this free kick. It is Weir, and it's 2 1! Beautifully taken. And Scotland have turned it around at Hampden Park. But for the goalkeeper, with a wall in front of her and other players too, it's going to be difficult for her to see it. She sees it a little bit late. She takes one step, Schneider, to her left. A little bit higher. At the beginning of the second half. She's trying to take the ball off her quickly, but what a mistake. Here is Khadija Shaw. 2-2. No mistake. We all knew the outcome of that when she was put through one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Another lovely finish. She's made Scotland pay for a big, big error. Yeah, it's just unfortunate for Howard that she makes this mistake. Likewise to Lisa Evans. That looked like a handball. I think the referee is actually going to give a corner kick and look like she was going to give the penalty. Well, Scotland players certainly reacted very quickly to this, Blackwood getting herself in the way. Miss Evans does very, very well, positive, tries to get the byline, and yeah, it's Blackwood's left arm that goes up for me. He's got to be a pen. Oh, Howard's oh. header! Scotland back in the lead! A terrific header from Sophie Howard! And what a moment for her! A first 
first ever goal for the Scotland women's national team. Weir. Here's Little, back to Weir. And now Arnott. Well, that would have been some goal. Yeah, it was really good football. Good little give and go football from Scotland. One and two touch, and that's the chance for Lizzie Arnott. That's a decent looking ball. Across the far side, and Cameron. Now here's McCoy. Difficult angle. First effort on goal for a long time from a Jamaican perspective. Very difficult angle to. It's a case of the, the four players that are ahead of, of them can go and break and try and open up the opposition. Khadija Shaw's in the team, and she's obviously the target. Get the ball to her and will be dangerous. There is the final whistle, a fitting send-off for Shelley Kerr and for Hugh Menzies. Two debutants who will, fingers crossed, light up the World Cup when they travel to France just a few days' time to kick off their campaigns.